Hello guys, welcome back to the channel once again. Today I'm super, super, mega excited to be sharing this video with you guys because today I want to introduce this very, very new show that just got released and it currently has four episodes available to watch and the show is called Bad Behavior and yes, there is a queer and lesbian storyline on the show and they are the main characters of the show and that's the reason why I wanted to share it with you guys. So basically, the you know, the relationship that develops is between joe and portia but before we get into more details please don't forget to like comment share subscribe and also let me know your personal opinion down below in the comments as well if you guys have watched the show and what is your personal opinion on it and this will only be a part one i will be doing a part two as the relationship developed to keep you guys updated on everything that's been going on between them so let's get right into it so basically bad behavior is a greedy intense psychological drama that follows the hunting teenager experience of now 20 something juana who revisits years she spent on a scholarship at silver greek the exclusive girls boarding school in the remote australian fosters independent strength and relances throughout survival and marathon training with teachers located off campus, the quiet and sensitive Joe soon finds herself in an environment more loud of files and kumbaya. Joe and her classmates are tormented by the characters Pool Portia. So Portia is basically like the mean, mean girl on campus, soon finding herself in a favor of a crucial and unpredictable Portia. The two begin a highly charged intimacy friendship. Joe experienced the first inclines of her queer sexuality you know awakening because she really started to feel a star like a type of vibe towards portia but she didn't know what it really was she just had this feeling about her and joe has started to create this curiosity because portia is like the mean girl on campus she's mean to everybody she's also mean to joe but she's also very you know protective over joe so it's kind of a confusing you know storyline when Portia suddenly moves on a new bestie, Joe now on her outer, never recover from the rejection, driving the story in the mystery of Joe's role in the suffering of Alice Gang, a flu scholarship student. So yes, Alice is actually one of Joe's closest friends who is also going through a very, very rough time at the campus. And Joe is like the only person, you know, that helps her through everything that she goes through because Portia is very, very mean to Alice and it starts to bother, you know, Joe because it's her friend and she hates how bad how badly she is treated by portia and her group of friends alice is the target of you know of the bullying in this case uh, in by portia the first episodes open with her in tears stating herself a light flash forwards to the present where she is successfully selected performing you know at the concert hall where joe works as a cleaner and cocktail waiter so as time progresses you know alice becomes very successful but on the other hand joe didn't you know accomplish what she had seen for herself because she always wants to be a writer but now she's on the journey to getting her big break so it's kind of you know uh, a look into the past and and 10 years after you know what happened with them after they left the scholarship camping program joe's surprise meeting with alice in the castle offered you know distressing mental reservation of silver greek a complex childhood you know the l all had a very very complex childhood and things just got more complicated being on campus because there they had to unveil and really go deep down so now we're gonna be talking about joe and portia like i already said at the, at the heart of the series joe she's a queer lady she actually gets involved with one of her roommates and her, her roommate in this case has a girlfriend but they only hooked up twice and of course joe made it very very clear to her roommate that she's not interested in her it was just a moment thing it happened you know she has no feelings but what actually ends up happening is that her roommate ends up leaving her girlfriend and she communicates it to joe and joe was like so what am what am i supposed to do with this information because last time i checked you know you don't owe me explanation of what you do with your personal life because joe is just very 
very cold hearted she really doesn't care about nobody's feelings besides her own and so basically one ten years after joe and portia they actually reconnect and this time they actually ended up reconnecting at you know an event that joe was part of and of course joe was so surprised when she see port when she saw portia because they haven't seen each other in 10 years and when they finally finally saw each other they had a conversation they went out for drinks and of course her room i started to see that they had a kind of a chemistry and that something might have happened between them in the past when they were younger and they were talking and of course potria got into joe's personal life and asked her if she was in love with someone as she's seeing someone and of course and of course joe responded by saying you know i've just been 10 years i've never been with someone i've broken a couple of hearts and of course and then a porter went on to ask joe about her roommate and she said like i oh, know she has a girlfriend she's not really my type and then of course joe asked the same to potter and potter didn't actually give her response still keeping that same mysterious the, the same mysterious to her you know that's kind of confusing to joe but after that they went out again and this is only on episode two there's so much information regarding their relationship only on only on episode two because they are the main main characters of the series because there's a lot of info like already said i will be doing a part two so that's actually where i stopped at but it looks like they are going to develop a, a relationship on the show it looks very intense it looks very 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 intense even though you know uh, joe still has a lot of hard feelings towards potria for what she did to alice when they were when they were younger she still feels a type of way regarding it but also she has a lot of love for her because she like she really really does like her in a romantic way potria also still you know even though 10 years later it seems like she's still playing mental games with joe and she still wants to be that girl that was the popular one the one that used to be mean to everybody everybody you know just uh, just do bad bad things to other kids so she's still trying to portray that image even though she's older let's see it may be changing i will be like i already said i will be watching the show to see what's happening because i feel like the show is very interesting and yes it's a complicating queer narratives going on and i'm excited i have like this one actually was recommended to me so that's why i wanted to you know to go ahead and do it for you guys and it's actually in english so it's okay and if you guys don't speak english there are subtitles available so regarding that there won't be no issues i think so and yes guys that's basically it very interesting show once again it's called bad behavior and it's also bad behavior works against this cultural blind spot it finds details in unpacks dynamics of power and control in the relationship between joe and portia as teenager and later when they meet up as young adults who are both out of the closet to adults portia behavior looks like bullying you know misbehavior or cleansy exclusion the drastic change is a victim as joe who becomes incredibly withdrawn and aggressive looks like disobedience and a bad attitude so it's gonna be interesting i'm excited so yes guys this is basically it